Hey everybody, welcome to the Fell Road Express, and we are playing the Stanley Parable again. So here we are uh, in Stanley's office. We're starting at the beginning again, and here we go. What? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? <laughs> what if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. What? Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. The clock's not... That was quick. What? That's an ending? <laughs> oh, that's... I... I was just clicking. I didn't even know that I could click on... I, I never tried clicking on his own door. We're back to the beginning. Um, yeah. Hey, everybody. That was, that was, um, the quick ending, I guess. The quickest ending possible to, uh, the Stanley Parable. So, yeah, like and subscribe. Check out our other videos. And I'm not going to close this door again. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know if he'll say something different. He did. But uh, Stanley did. simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? Hey guys, I couldn't just leave you with the uh, one short ending of 427 staying in the office. So here we go. We're going to try and go out the window. So here we go. It's not the easiest, but it's not 434's desk is where we need to go. So get on the chair, then you're able to get on the desk, and then you have to crouch down. Here we go. Whoa. We got the window? We got the window? Yes. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. <laughs> so, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Mm. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Oh my god, yes or no? Um... Wait, I don't know which one to this first. Are you sick of this gag? Sure. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. <laughs> now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any yes. of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> I don't know how long to go. There here. once was a man named Stanley. Oh my god. Who people considered so manly. What? But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. Oh, what okay. Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. <laughs> which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. Yes. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. Oh my god, Bradley, that was amazing. I loved it. See how long. Maybe there's an end. Literally nothing 
else here. I want to sing along too. I usually come up with words, but I, I, I'm just so shocked. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, is it just going to keep going? I'm going I'm to stay here just a little bit longer. And if it, uh, it doesn't end, I'll either sing along or just restart the game. Oh, it's so weird. And it's the end? No, no, it keeps going. Okay, I'm, I'm going to restart the game. Begin the game again. Here we go. That, that was fun. I can't, I heard Bradley All of saying. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I hear what sounds like rain. And it's number one back. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Go find the input pewter. Okay, I've heard that once before. This is not the input pewter. This is the input pewter. All right, I have input for the second time. All right, let's go click no. Let's see what happens. Going up on the table, crossing over. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Wow. Yeah, that's what it looks like. From the outside. Am I stuck? Can I go back in? Yeah, I can go back in. All right. I'm gonna go over to that side. This is fun. Okay, here we go. I'm probably just gonna fall. And... Yep, there we go. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into you, the game. nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, you. now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? No. Let's see what happens when I press no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. I did! So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Ooh. Cheers. This time it left it, so I actually have something else to look at. That's... <laughs> I wonder what happens... I just press yes again? Nothing happens. No? Okay, nothing happens. All right. That was, uh, thank you. thanks for watching the Stanley Parable, guys. You saw the office, uh, staying in the office ending, and then you also saw the, uh, both of the jumping out of, uh, the window ending. So, if you want to see more of the Stanley Parable, like and subscribe. We've got more videos coming out every Stanley Saturday until we have no more Stanley Saturdays. So, uh, thanks, and hope you'll check us out next time. Bye.